The Belmont Bruins have arrived in Durham, North Carolina in advance of Friday's game at number six Duke. Who could forget three and a half years ago when the 15th seeded Belmont Bruins took the then three-time national champion Blue Devils to the wire before losing by an eyelash 71 to 70 in our nation's capital. The, the players have since gone. The two venerable head coaches, Rick Bird and Mike Krzyzewski remain, making tomorrow night's contest one of the most eagerly anticipated in recent memory. Oh, I think we are. I think we've been excited for this opportunity for uh, pretty much all summer. From the first time we figured out we were going to be able to play them again, uh, I think the anticipation grew to be able to play in a place like Cameron Indoor is one of a one chance in a lifetime. Uh, how many kids get to play for Duke? How many kids get to play in this stadium and compete? So I think we're all ready for that opportunity. Yeah, I don't think any of us are really thinking about uh, whatever hype may have come from the last last Duke meeting, and none of us were on that team. Um, I think you have to approach it like any other game. I mean, this is obviously a historic arena, and uh, Duke's a huge name in college basketball, but, uh, you know, like Coach Burt said, same court dimensions, same 10-foot hoops. With our guys coming back, I think that we all expect to win. There's no more, more victories, no more, well, we didn't get blown out by 20 points, or we, we, we kept it close. We're coming in expecting to win, and I think all our guys have the same mindset. On the heels of last year's 30-5 and five campaign, both experience and confidence are on Belmont's side. But the Bruin team knows that winning here at College Basketball's Cathedral is the equivalent of climbing Mount Everest. Duke has won 86 consecutive non-conference home games dating back to February of 2000. Freshman Spencer Turner was just seven years old. Belmont will become ready to play, but knowing it'll be a tall task. Reporting from Cameron Indoor Stadium in Durham, North Carolina, Greg Sage for the Bruins Sports Network.